Hello and welcome to, well, welcome back really. I am Beck and today I am playing Elite Dangerous. I absolutely love this game. Look at just the galaxy there and the rings below us and all the little asteroids. I This game was amazing when I first played it. I'm running everything, full everything at the moment and it looks stunning, I absolutely love it. It runs great as well. As we look off into the stars there, the entire map of this game we see over there, um, and the gas giant by the looks of it that the rings are around as well, is sitting right there. It, this game is amazing. Um, if there are any questions about why I sound different, it is because I am using a new headset, and I will show that off a bit later. Give myself Oh no, I don't want to do that. Okay, so we are now heading back down to the asteroid field. Um, I can use my new boost effect to get down to the asteroid field. It's very loud there, so it's a bit of a problem. They're very loud. But, um, just look at that. I can see every single asteroid and we can go fly down we can go fly down in amongst all of them and have a look it's absolutely amazing I mean when I first turned this game on the first thing that you do is just take in the atmosphere because this game is just it's just so massive I've never seen anything like it on PC before and if you haven't already guessed for those console gamers, this won't be coming your way, ever. So don't look forward to it. Um, but no, it's, it's just great, and I can spin around, and I have the freedom to do whatever I want. Um, there is no rules to this game, but at the moment, I am going a bit slow. Everything seems a little bit stale. Um, but the main reason for that is this is the combat training demo that you get when you pre-order the game. So this isn't the full game, this is just a sneak preview of what everything looks like and how it plays. That is very, very loud. Um, so we're now in the asteroid field, pretty much. We, yeah, they are the... The rings are still sort of there, you can sort of see them, but we're pretty much in the asteroid field now, so. Uh, there we go. I am actually using a joystick to record this, or record, play this. Um, uh, joystick or controller is probably the best. But look at that. Try not to hit the asteroid and go past it. That was close. Um, but yeah, it looks so real and so. It just looks so beautiful and just great. I love it. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I, I've never seen any game like this before. Um, and it's just... When you actually play this game, there aren't any missions, main rules or objectives. I mean, there are missions you can do, but you don't have to do them. You spawn with a ship, not a lot of money, and that's it. But yeah and it's up to you what you want to do but this game it is just brilliant we can shoot up this asteroid here you can see all the particles fly off it when you shoot you see all the ice particles fly off the, de the, the detail that they put in i think is great there we go so you can see all the ice fly at you and everything so, and then the sight of the asteroids and the planet there is absolutely amazing. But um, considering this is actually a combat training demo, it would seem unfitting to not do a combat scenario. So what have we got? A sidewinder face-off, advanced combat, me uh, basic combat. We'll do sidewinder face-off, I think. So that is actually the look of one of the ships that you own in the game. And now I believe we there we go we spawn okay and we get our guns out because we are being attacked by this ship in front of us here 
Oh, uh, I already have a shield on blind. On the left, it shows his shield are the rings around his ship. Um, on the left, and it says that he's on 60 something percent hull. And now he's recharging his shields. Uh, mine are on the right, and it says I'm on 100%, and I've got slightly damaged shields. Um, there we go. So his shields are online again. But I'm using the pulse lasers. When I was in the asteroid field, I was using a minigun sort of thing. I'm now using pulse laser type stuff now. <coughs> there we go, now we've got him. His shield's offline, and he's trying to outmaneuver me there. There we go, he's not going to get away. Uh, there we go. Come on. He's on like 30 some, 33 by the then. Well, try not to fly into the back of him, that would be a good start. But his shields are reloading really slowly now because he is really damaged. And he's now turned his engines right up to try and get away from him as well. Um, the AI in this is really good, so when they've got their shields up they'll go all out and try and attack. When they're low on shields they'll try to tactically get away from you. Like this guy's trying to fly right around me to get away from me. And now he's got his shields on. He will come around for an attack now. He'll shoot off. And yep, he'll come around for an attack. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Okay. Well, that's one way to destroy someone. Let them fly into you and explode. That's the best way. <laughs> okay, well, I think I've just found the easiest way I'm going to be destroying most of my opponents in this game. Surprised I didn't blow up as well from that, but wow. So yeah, this I'm not going to play any more tutorials because I'm going to let you guys play if you're going to download it. But I absolutely love this game. It's one of my favourites. I really enjoy it. <coughs> oh, sorry, I got a bit of a cough, but yeah, I am using a new headset and I was using a joystick to play this. But oh, <coughs> I got a yeah. I'm not feeling too great. Um. But no, uh, I, if you guys want to get this, it is great. I do recommend it. Sorry for not uploading videos that much. I've had a lot of work on stuff like that. So that's why I'm doing it. I'll try to do more throughout this month and next month. But with Christmas coming up, I can't guarantee. So anyway, I want to say thanks a lot for watching, guys. My name is Beck, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.